Shokin was considered because Shokin was considered a threat to the business. I think any anyone in again, you got to get the signals to the government. I think anyone in government was always a threat and always trying to shake down these businesses that were highly successful and yeah. and enriching the the owners and the and the, and the staff and the board and whatever. Yeah. Um, and so at the end of the day, Shokin was taking a look. All right, joining us now to uh, discuss Devin Archer's testimony and what could come out of it, New Jersey Congressman Jeff Van Drew. He's a member of the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman, it's good to see you. Thanks for coming on the show this Friday. Always good to be with you. I appreciate it. Thank you. So after hearing Archer's closed door testimony and then, you know, some of the clips from Tucker Carlson's interview is one on one with Archer. How do you assess the the Biden investigation now and where it should go? Well, number one, let me just say, I mean, this was a real tag team, the now president and his son, then vice president. Uh, Joe Biden was the merchandise. His son was the salesman. And it's disgusting. They're selling America down the drain. Uh, and by the way, he didn't even register as a foreign agent, which he should have, he should, according to the Foreign Registration Act, and he did not. I mean, he's broken more laws than you can name. And one more thing I want to say, and then I will answer your question. You know, one of the reasons Devin Archer is burned is because all along the way, Devin Archer has been with Hunter Biden, and they both defrauded Native Americans. It just wasn't. Devin Archer. But Devin Archer got a year in jail. And of course, the vice president's son got nothing. We're ready, I believe, to really go at least to an impeachment inquiry here. I'm ready. I'm pushing for it. I've put it out on my social media. I've told the speaker. I've said it publicly. I've said it on the floor. And when we got when the whole house is back, you know, we're back more anyhow because of judiciary. But uh, August is a bad month. But when we're back, it's time to go. This is really bad. It's really corrupt, and it's really wrong. Yeah, and we, you know, on the on the issue of an impeachment in inquiry, um, you know, some uh, are saying that it should be done in a measured and deliberate and fair process. Um, and if it takes a little more time, then it should in order to do it correctly. You would agree with that. I do agree with that. I mean, we should do it correctly because the better that we do it, the more that we'll get and the stronger we'll be. On the other hand, and I, and I want to say this to everybody, especially in my Republican Party, we don't want to be weak need. We don't want to be afraid. It's time to move. I mean, boy, the, and I don't, I don't want to emulate the Democrats, but the Democrats beat the daylights out of our president, President Trump, and it was all lies. It wasn't real. Russian collusion didn't exist. But they don't mind at all. I would say that we have to be measured, we have to be careful, but we've got to be tough, we've got to be strong, and we've got to be strident. It is time. All right. Uh, well, we're going to have you back on to talk about that when we uh, get closer. And certainly there's going to be much more having to do with the investigation, Archer's testimony, the fallout. Uh, it continues. Congressman Jeff Andrew, appreciate it. Have a good weekend. Thanks for coming on. Thank you.